I was blown away when I found a section on Wikipedia about rock paper scissors algorithms. Like what? It's proven that the best rock paper scissors move is a uniformly random one. So how did rock paper scissors programming competitions work? And how would a winning bot perform against some of my own bots and even me? Let's rock, I don't know. There were two Rochambeau programming competitions around the 2000s. Many sites about this are no longer online, but I found a list of rules for the second competition which cleared a lot of things up. In these competitions, bots play 1000 games against each other, gain points based on their performance and are then ranked by their point total. Choosing moves randomly would not win because the contest includes special bots that play weakly on purpose, like having subtle patterns or a slight bias towards a certain choice. Also, there is no rule 6. The winning bot will need to be able to exploit those weak bots by predicting them without becoming vulnerable to being predicted by other bots. Online, I found a Python transcription of the winner of the first Rochambeau competition, so I swiped it. The algorithm is called Iocane Powder. It records a history of the opponent's moves so that it can analyse it and exploit weaknesses, such as biases or patterns. So how well does it work? Here's some code I wrote for the purpose of testing hurricane powder. Let's first try a bot that always picks choice 0, which means rock. 0 is rock, 1 is paper, 2 is scissors. After 1000 games, our bot won one game, then lost 998 games against hurricane powder and had one draw. Okay, so it's clear that hurricane powder definitely hones in on weaknesses. Let's try against a better bot. This time, I used a bot that has a 9% bias, meaning it has a 9% chance of immediately picking rock before selecting a uniformly random choice. The result surprised me, despite this tiny bias that a human probably wouldn't even notice, the results are very noticeable. A bias bot won 301 games and lost 383, the rest draws. It makes sense that Arcane Powder is a champion. To check its defensiveness, I put it against a perfect unbiased bot. A good bot should perform equally to it, and that's just what happened. The unbiased bot won 356 games and Arcane Powder won 357 games. Of course, this unbiased bot is garbage because it wouldn't exploit the weak bots playing the competition. Now it's time for the ultimate test. Can this bot exploit a human player in 1000 games? Yeah, I played 1000 games against this bot. Of course there'll be patterns when a human plays 1000 games of rock through with scissors. Already around 200 games in I realised I was barely ever winning against it. I won 266 games and Iocane Powder won 468 games. Wow. You know, I find it incredible that even a problem proven to be trivial can be made into something so interesting. Also, I ran so many games of rock paper scissors I think I unleashed some weird monstrosities, I don't know. Oh, the game closer. Stop. Stop. Stop!